Now the real magic comes from the fact that we can now bring in a piece of this level along with the mesh into Blender to act as a guide when we are modeling this thing. So let's include a bit of surroundings. You can see this white sphere here shows how much of the level we're going to bring in. Click edit in Blender and jump back into Blender. And now we have a piece of the level along with it. Let's make some more changes to the thing. Since we now have the surroundings with it, we can now do things like snap to vertices in the environment if we want to. And if we're happy, again, we can click finish editing. We can update and keep editing or we can cancel the edit. And again, we get the updated geometry in the level editor. If we want to enable physics, we can do that as well. And now if we simulate physics for this sphere, we can see that it does indeed collide with the object. And if we didn't like this place after all, we can move the thing around to somewhere else in the level and click edit in Blender. And now we have a different piece of geometry brought in along with the object to help us model it. I should mention that essentially everything in this level except for some trees, rocks and vehicles are modeled using this system. And if you want to know more about how the system works, check out the video linked in the description.